your number one source for high school sports. You're watching the Scenic Sports Network. He's the guy who does the uh, announcing for this outfit. I can't remember his name. He's in another room in there. I guess, it's, it's, is it still Fox Fleming? Oh, Fox Fleming is our play-by-play -play guy. And go ahead and start talking. Dan, yeah, from where, where I'm uh, sitting, Rick, you two look the best you've looked all year. Thank you, Daddy. Uh, did we hear psychic Rex Bynum say that he was hoping the rain would move through quickly so we can expect snow, hail, high winds probably by him saying that? I'm headed to the car as you speak. I'm gone. And the Tigers coming on the field, getting to receive as the Wildcats won the toss, deferred to the second half. Matthew Sheehan will be kicking off for the Wildcats. And we're ready to start. This first quarter in the rain here at Wildcat Stadium. Auburn will be returning from our left to our right. Good high kick, and it should go into the end zone for a touchback and the Tigers start first and 10 at the 20-yard line. Yeah, nice kick by Matthew Sheehan. I, we've talked, that's always a, a big plus for your defensive unit when uh, your kicker can put it in the end zone. There's no return, and the other team has to start from their own 20-yard line. Matthew Caldwell, the quarterback for the Auburn Tigers. Rodgers also in the backfield. Caldwell takes it, looks at the left side, and he's going to be hit, fumble on the play, and I believe the Wildcats will recover at the 10-yard line, and they do, Coach. Yes, they do. He had time to look for a receiver. I thought he was going to go down the left side. And I don't know if somebody hit the ball or if it just slipped out. He slipped down. <laughs> but whatever, there's the break uh, that the Cats uh, needed early in the games. We need to take advantage of that and put a touchdown on the board. And the Wildcats with the first break of the game, recovering the fumble from the first play at the 10, 11-49 in this first quarter. Wildcat, McHale takes it down inside the four, down to about the three, and it'll be second and goal. Yeah, good push off that left side. Uh, Great surge by the offensive line for the Wildcats Johnson, out of our single wing look with Mikael Johnson in as, as the Wildcat. Second and goal for the Cats, and we've got a penalty flag on the play. <clears throat> Uh, the Tigers were obviously lined up outside because that was a pre-snap <laughs> penalty or he threw it right at the snap. Second and goal from the two for the Wildcats here at Wildcat Stadium. Again in shotgun formation. Darlington McCray. And Johnson, Johnson takes it off the left side. Touchdown, Wildcats! Yeah, just the old Wildcat out of the single wing look. Mikhail Johnson, great blocking again off that left side. Left side of the line and the, the backs in the backfield. And the 
Cats take advantage of uh, the first uh, turnover of the ball game. Let's check the swinging gate. And Sheehan comes in to attempt the point after. Quentin Hayes holding from the 10-yard line. And we've got movement on the line. And, Coach, we've seen it all year. Yeah, it happens every game. We, we just pop that hand down and teams jump. I was surprised Auburn jumped, I'll be honest with you. I figured they'd seen enough video and they were disciplined enough that they wouldn't do it. But <laughs> no matter how much you practice it, uh, when it, when the real thing comes, it's hard to keep from doing that. And as we await the snap, Good snap, hold is down, the kick is up, and the kick is good. And I believe we had another penalty flag on the play before the kick, Coach. We did as Auburn moved once again. Coach, uh, I think Coach Darlington, is, I think he may be trying to give it a go right here. Whitaker comes in the game for the Wildcats. Yeah, the Cats uh, sent uh, the offensive unit back on the field. Darlington, McCray, Whitaker in the backfield from the, looks like the half-yard line. Whitaker comes to the left side. MJ's going to take it, and he's going to be hit, and it's going to be no good. Yeah, that... Uh I like the call, though. I think that's a good aggressive call. He had, a, he had two penalties down the half-yard line. You know, if you can't knock it in from a half-yard, well, you tip your helmet to the other team. And with 10.46 to go in the first quarter here at Wildcats Stadium, the Enterprise High School Wildcats leading the Auburn Tigers 6 to nothing, following the fumble from the first play for the Tigers. MJ taking it into the end zone. Two-point conversion fails, and here we are at 6 to nothing as Wildcats get ready to kick off once again from the 40. Matthew Sheehan teeing it up as the Tigers' return team comes on the field. She and approaches the ball, another good high kick. It's going to be fielded at the three-yard line, out across the five, 10, cuts it back to the middle of the field, 20, 25, and finally brought down up near the 30-yard line, but the Tigers will start at gunfield position. Yes, they, got, they return, man, did a great job. I had a good look. We had good coverage, but a little crease opened up about the 15, 18-yard uh, line, and he saw it. He made a cut back in the middle of the field and uh, was able to pick up a Yardage out to the 30, that's a, that's a good kickoff return for the Auburn Tigers. Tigers wide out to the right side, hands it off to his back, right up the middle, 35 and up here the 40, and he's going to be close to a first down. Rodgers on to carry. Yeah, the big offensive tackle, right tackle blocked down on our defensive end. He caved that left side in, and the by the time our outside linebacker squeezed down to make the play, <laughs> he'd already picked up nine yards. Second and one for the Tigers from the 39. Fakes it. Quarterback pulls it off the left side. Going to be hit quickly and brought down for a loss. Bringing up third down. Caldwell on the carry. Yeah, Fox, that looked like his own read, and uh, the, the Cat defense showed great discipline. Everybody doing their job. Quarterback decided to keep it, and uh, he had nowhere to go. Uh, great technique by the uh, right side of the Cat defense. Big third down play for the Wildcat defense. Quarterback's going to give it to his back. He's across midfield, 40, 35, 30, and finally brought down inside the 30-yard line, but a good hard run by Jonathan Rogers for the Tigers. Yeah, they just uh, – Opened up a gaping hole in the middle of our the cat defense. He jumped in it, and by the time the safety closed in to make the play, uh, they're down, knocked on the door of our 21-yard line. Well, I guess they call him down about the 28-yard line. 
Handoff goes off the left side. Good defensive play by the Cats. Yeah, we had an outside stun. I like the defensive call. You know, we have to take chances like, like that defensively. When you're out, man, playing against a superior, supposedly a superior opponent, uh, you have to, you, sometimes you have to be defensively unsound to make plays. Handoff goes to number six inside the 25 and down to the 21 on the far side of the field. Yeah, big push off the left side. Pretty good hold and a good hard run. They're back, so uh, I can tell uh, they're tough runners, and uh, he got some tough yards on that so for, uh, carry them. I guess that was second down. Third and two for the Tigers. Far hash mark moving left to right. Hands it off to Rodgers again. Hit quickly and stopped at the 20. He's not going to be to the first down line, Coach. I believe he's going to be about a yard short. Yeah, we had that stun again from the outside. I like the call. I think, you know, taking chances like that, uh, you know, you're making plays in the backfield. Sometimes you can knock that ball loose again. Big fourth down play for the Cats. Fakes it, quarterback keeps it across the 20, down to the 15, shakes a tackle, 10, 5, touchdown Auburn. As we await the call, he might have stepped out, coach, about the one, and looks like he did. Yeah. That was great execution on the zone read that time by the quarterback. We didn't, uh, we didn't do like we were coached to do. Nobody took the quarterback, and he made us pay for it. And Coach, that was uh, into the end zone quickly. And with time out on the field, 7.55 to go in the first quarter. Tied at 6-6 as we await the extra point. You're listening to Enterprise High School Football. Brought to you by McDonald's on the Wildcat Scenic Sports Networks. Back at Wildcat Stadium, 7.56 to go in this first quarter. Tied 6-6 six to six as the Tigers get ready to attempt the point after. Owsley in to kick for the Tigers. Good snap. Hole is down. The kick is up. And the kick is good. And the Tigers lead 7-6 to six over the Wildcats following the touchdown and extra point. We'll be back in 30 seconds listening to Enterprise High School football. Brought to you by McDonald's of Enterprise on the Wildcats Scenic Sports Networks. As the rain comes down at Wildcats Stadium, Owsley kicking off for the Tigers. Dunlap back deep for the Wildcats. Good high kick. Going to be fielded at the one-yard line by McCray out across the 10. 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 40, 35, 30, 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, Wildcats. Good for 99 yards. Josh McCray on the return for the Wildcats. What a great return to Fox. I kept looking for, for flags on the field, but I see none. Uh, I saw that little hole open up, and Josh, I think, saw it too, and he turned on the afterburners. And then he uh, saw a guy trying to chase him down from behind, and he angled it to the left. Let's look at the swinging gate here. And the swinging gate. Hayes is going to take it off the right side, and he's into the end zone. Extra point is good for two, and the Wildcats lead 14 to seven. Here with 7:24 to go in the first quarter. Scoreboard brought to you by Citizens Bank of Enterprise. Be back in 30. Listening to Enterprise High School football. Brought to you by McDonald's and the Wildcats Scenic Sports Networks. The 
as the rain continues to come down here at Wildcat Stadium. 7.24 to go in the first quarter. Enterprise up 14 to 7 as Sheehan gets ready to kick off. Low squib kick. In and out of the hands and recovered down at the 25-yard line by the Tigers, and they start first and 10. Yeah, Matthew slipped down on the turf out there. I'm, I'm glad he got some of the ball. That turned out to be a pretty good little kick, uh, kind of a squib kick down, down through that. But what a great return by Josh McCray. You know, big-time players make big-time plays in big games, and that was one right there for sure. Fox, Mr. Adams noted we've got 14 points, and we have yet to make a first down. Now, Psychic, we've already told you don't be doing these predictions from last week. First and ten for the Tigers. Fumble on the play, and it's the Wildcats were there, but I believe Cornwall was able to get back on the ball, and it's going to bring up second down from the 24-yard line. Yeah, you called it exactly right, Fox. The referee was right on top of it. He pointed real quick that Auburn had the football. Boy, <laughs> that would have been something. We could have got that one, but, but you never know it. Cat defense, uh, let's see if we can stop them on this series. Number six lines up behind Caldwell. Fakes it, throws it out in the flats, intended for 11, incomplete. And coach, if you were watching, great defensive play by Jalen Cunningham as he was almost there to make that interception. He was, uh, he read that uh, like he was reading a book. And uh, I think that may have been one of the quarterback kind of threw it high. He kind of saw him coming up and uh, he, he let it sail. If he did, that was a good move by the Auburn quarterback. Wide outs go to the far side of the field and the near side of the field. Rodgers lines up to the left side, throws it out in the flats, complete hit quickly up near the 26-yard line, and that's going to bring up fourth down. What a great job defense. They're trying to set the little flanker screen to the left side, a little slip screen. Uh, one of our defensive linemen read that rather quickly, and uh, – a whole host of Wildcats were all over that play. Great job by the Cat defense on that series. Fourth down for the Tigers as Rhodes will be punting from the 12-yard line. Cats not putting anybody back deep with the rain coming down. Snap. Comes off the right side, and it's going to be down inside the Wildcat 30-yard line, and they start first and 10 from the 27. Yeah, that's probably not a bad move. You hate to, you know, give up yardage if it bounces a roll, but with the, you know, damp turf, it's probably not going to go too far. Uh, and there's always the thing about a team punting to, you're going to get the ball. Don't, don't make a mistake to give it back to them. Wildcats take the ball. Hayes gives it to Dunlap off the left side. Breaks one tackle. He's going to be up to the 28, but that's going to be all, maybe one yard. Yeah, and I saw a flag come out. That may usually indicates holding. That was the umpire that made that call. Uh, he's positioned. Yeah, that is the signal. Keon looked a little tentative running that one, like he didn't know what running with a purpose. Uh, Hope, hope that he gets that out of his system quickly because we need him to start running hard. Brings up first down from the 19-yard line. 5.56 to go in the first quarter. Cats leading 14-7 over the Tigers. Trips out to the far side of the field. Hayes back at his own 14, fakes it, keeps it, out across the 20, and up near the 23. Yeah, I like the play call. Uh, I know Quinn couldn't see it as well as uh, I can up here, but there was a crease back to his left. If he could have seen it and cut it back to the left, I believe he'd have been off to the races. Second and 14 for the Wildcats from their own 23-yard line. Center of the field, 
Trips out to the near side of the field. McCray goes to the far right. MJ to the left side of Quentin Hayes, standing back in shotgun formation. Quentin's going to take it, cut it inside. He's going to be out across the 27, fumble on the ground, and they're going to rule him down at the 28-yard line. I think we were lined up wrong. It looked like our receivers were having trouble getting set, and we had, I think we had uh, an extra guy in the backfield because the official on his side had his arm pointing toward us, which means he's off the line, and he should have been on the line. And that is the call. Second down for the Cats from the 18. Hayes takes it, throws it back to McCray, and he's going to be hit quickly at the 15 and lose a couple of yards. Yeah, uh, the uh, uh, Auburn defense, they had seen that play on film, obviously. They didn't go for any kind of fake, and they were skiing on Josh. And, and by the time he caught it, they were there to swarm him under. Brings up third down for the Cats. Darlington goes in the backfield. White comes out. Dunlap goes in now to the backfield. As the Cats are moving from right to left, their own 15-yard line near hash mark. Trips out to the far side of the field. Hayes takes it, fakes it. He's going to take it up the middle, out across the 20 and up near the 21, but it's going to bring up fourth down. Yeah, that was a good little uh, misdirection play. We got a few yards, but uh, we didn't even get back to the downs marker for the first down, but uh, kind of shot, hurt, shot ourselves in the foot on that series. Mr. Adams, is, has our psychic talked about the speed of the game tonight? If you knew what part of him I had in my hand, you would understand why he ain't doing much talking in that regard tonight. Well, I, I know we already talked about how the rain would not get here, but I don't think it stopped raining, period. Now, are you getting the messages from Coach Buck Hanson? Uh, something about he can't hear. He said it's not on the National Federation site. Fourth down, fake. Garlington has it off the left side, 30, 35, 40, and up to the 47-yard line, and the Wildcats have a first and 10. Well, what a great call by Coach Darlington and great execution by the punting unit. Uh, Wyatt Darlington, uh, uh, I tell you what, he's a ball player and uh, got us a big first down. First first down of the game. First and 10 for the Cats from the 47 near hash mark. MJ takes it off the left side. He's going to be stopped for a loss back at the 48. Yeah, the Auburn defense, they would have none of that. They've got good team uh, quickness, and uh, MJ tried to put a little spin move, but they just slid right down the line with him. And, and as you said, Foss, they dropped him for about a half-yard loss. Second and 11 from the Cats from their own 46-yard line. Just over two minutes to go in the first quarter. Cats leading 14-7. to seven. Takes it off the right side up to midfield. Yeah, just a power out of the single wing off the right. The Auburn defense, they're really 
uh, crown the line of scrimmage. Uh, the entire defense was within probably nine yards of the football. And, uh, you know, I know Coach wants to control the clock and the ball, but, uh, you know, we've got to make first downs, and sometimes you got to throw it down that field to, to back those guys up a little bit. Let them know that you'll do it anyway. Big third down play for the Cats. Need to get down to the 43-yard line. The line of scrimmage is midfield. Hayes takes it, fakes it, throws it over the middle, complete. And he's going to be down inside the 15-yard line. I think Coach I that's going to be Cole Hooper wearing number 19 tonight instead of number 30. Yeah. That coach must have read my mind because they were really they were up there within seven or eight yards line of scrimmage and a little fake. Cooper on the reception. First and ten, coach from the thirteen yard line near hash mark. Just over a minute to go in this first quarter. Shotgun, Wildcat McRae takes it off the left side. Breaks a tackle and it's going to be down to the six. Yeah, good hard running by Josh McCray. They had a little Josh couple of guys in the backfield. Uh, he made the first one miss and he put a little move on the second one and kind of pushed him out of the way. Then the pursuit was there to hit him, but not after a good game by Josh McCray. Second down from the six for the Wildcats. Hayes in at quarterback, takes the snap, hands it off to MJ off the right side, and he's going to be down near the goal line. They're going to rule him down about the one-foot line, Coach. Did the ball come out? I thought there was a scramble in the end zone, but I think you're right. They may be ruling him down. He ten, our, MJ's had a tendency to cough up that football. and we need to, Coach needs to coach him up about that. You've you got to secure that thing, particularly when you're doing that on the goal line. First and goal from the one for the Cats. And looks like they won't get this playoff, Coach, as the first quarter comes to an end at Wildcat Stadium. Enterprise leading 14-7 over the Auburn Tigers as we close out the first quarter. You're listening to Enterprise High School Football brought to you by McDonald's on the Wildcat Scenic Sports Networks. Supply is dedicated to offering a vast collection of fixtures, faucets, and accessories for your kitchen and bath. Make your dreams a reality. Step into the area's only Kohler Premier Showroom or see Delta's Brizo Collection for the latest trends in kitchen and bathroom designs. Lewis Smith Supply offers an extensive line of plumbing supplies for contractors or do-it-yourselfers. For more inspiration, come visit one of our showrooms in Dothan or Enterprise. At Enterprise State, we believe college is for everyone who wants a path to something better. And we're Alabama's fastest growing community college because we're redefining what college can be. More affordable, more accessible, more of the programs you need to find a high paying job or fast forward the career you've already started. Whether you come for advanced technical training or a solid academic foundation, you'll leave with the tools it takes to make your future happen faster. Learn more and get moving today. Your number one source for high school sports. You're watching the Scenic Sports Network. We at Scenic Cable would like to thank our YouTube audience for over 10,000 views on our video library. And we want you to help us make it even better and promote more content being added. How? By subscribing to our YouTube channel. On the Scenic Cable and Productions YouTube channel, hit the subscribe button. Your subscription will allow us to grow the channel with even more content, like the local videos you love, and even expand beyond them with new and original videos and shows for YouTube. Please subscribe. Back at Wildcat Stadium, Fox Swimming, along with psychic coach Trex Biner, Ricky Adams, Lance Arbor, the spotter. Wildcats first and goal from the one-foot line. As Whitaker comes in the backfield with Darlington. Wildcat formation. McCray's going to take it off the right side. Touchdown, Wildcats. 
And coach, once again, we'll check the swinging gate one more time. I tell you what, coach is he's pulling out stops, and I like it. I, I like what he's what we're doing. He's taking chances, which is what we have to do. We got to keep Auburn, Auburn guessing as what we're going to do. And moving on the line once again, and we got a penalty flag as coach. Uh, it's worked all year. Penalty flag on the play. Half the distance, and we will re-kick once again. As Quentin Hayes will be holding for Matthew Sheehan. Bad snap. Picked up by Sheehan, and no good. And following the snap, and the extra point, no good. Enterprise leads 20-7 to over the Tigers, 11.53 to go in the first half. You're listening to Enterprise High School Football, brought to you by McDonald's and the Wildcat Scenic Sports Networks. Sheehan gets ready to kick off the Wildcats. Tigers returning from our right to our left. Good high kick and into the end zone for a touchback, and the Tigers first start first and 10 at the 20. Yeah, another good kick by Matthew Sheehan. What a great job by the Wildcats. Coach Darlington making two big calls uh, uh, to get us in position. The fake punt got the big first down, and then the pass to Cole Hooper got us down in position, and then we were able to punch it in. But uh, – Cats are playing a good aggressive football. We need to continue that uh, defensively. Dual wide out to the near side of the field. Tigers moving from our right to our left. Hands off the right side, out across the 23 and up near the 24 yard line. Picks up four yards. Yeah, good, good uh, push off that right side. I thought it was actually going to get uh, more yards than what it did. Uh, we, we did make good contact, and when we did, we backed him up. Uh, uh, pretty good job off the defensive left side of the Cats. Second at about five from the Tigers from just inside the 25-yard line. Handoff goes to Rodgers off the left side, cuts it back. He's out across the 40 and up near the 43-yard line. And he's going to pick up a first down. Yeah, what a big hole off the left side. And I had a good look at that one. And Rodgers did too because once he got in it, he made a nice cut back against the grain to an even bigger gap and uh, picked up a good yardage. And timeout called by Enterprise with 11.05 to go in this first half. Enterprise leading 20-7 to here at Wildcat Stadium. Scoreboard brought to you by Citizens Bank of Enterprise, listening to Wildcat football. Sponsored by McDonald's of Enterprise and the Wildcat Scenic Sports Networks. Back at Wildcat Stadium, first and 10 for the Tigers. Hands off to Rodgers, breaks a tackle out across the 45 and up near the 47-yard line, picks up about six yards. Yeah, I think that was a good timeout call there by Coach Kennedy. And, uh, again, you know, if we're just going to sit in there and try to play technique football against these their offense, I think we're, uh, you know, that's not going to work. We, get, we need to take a few more chances to get some negative plays. Second and four for the Tigers. Snap goes over the head of the quarterback. Cornwell quickly gets on it back at the 38-yard line, brings up third and about 13. Yeah, we need a few more of those to help us out. Now, they've, they've helped us out a little bit with some drop balls and that one that snap there. Uh, we need to take advantage of it on this third and long 
and uh, hold him right here to get this football back. Quarterback takes it, looks downfield, has a man open, hit quickly, and stopped at the 47-yard line. Good defensive play by the Cats. Yes, it was. That was just a stop, Brad. They tried to pick up about 10 yards, and which I think they did. Uh, and hopefully, if you miss a tackle, they're going to get the first down. But we were that right there to make that play. Brings up fourth down for the Tigers. Wide outs each side of the field, and they will go for it. Caldwell standing back at his 42-yard line. Yeah, we need to watch the football, be sure they don't draw us off sides right here. And we've got a timeout on the field. The timeout on the field, the Wildcats leading 20 to 7 over the Tigers of Auburn. You're listening to Enterprise High School Football, brought to you by McDonald's of Enterprise and the Wildcats Scenic Sports Networks. Back at Wildcat Stadium, Tigers lining up to punt. 9.33. Punter stands back at the 34-yard line. Good snap, and he's going to get the punt off. Be a high punt off the right side, go out of bounds. I want to say up near the 30-yard line, Coach, as we await for the spot. Yeah, I think you're right, Fox. It's, I think he's marking it about the 28-yard line. Cat defense doing a good job holding the Auburn Tigers on that possession. I think, uh, of course, the high snap helped us out. Now with the offense, we need to take advantage of it. And, uh, Hooper and Dunlap in the backfield for the Cats. As they come to the line, far hash mark moving from our left to our right. Hayes takes it, comes off the right side. Correction, MJ takes it, pitches it to Dunlap, and he's going to be dropped for a loss back at the 27-yard line. And we've got a penalty flag, and it's going to go against the Wildcats. Yeah, not only did the guy make the play, he was blocked in the back on top of that. You know, those are the kind of mistakes we can't afford, afford to make. We're going to be against the chain right now on that first down. We're going to lose 10 yards. Coach, check with Mr. Adams and see what we're up to on penalties this first half. I can tell you too many. First and 20 for the Cats. Trips out to the far side of the field. Hayes in shotgun formation. Hands it off to McCray. Cuts it upfield, and they're going to stop him up near the 20-yard line. Yeah, that was a good job. Uh, Josh got a few yards out of seemingly nothing. Uh, their defense is very sound. They slid right down the line of scrimmage. They, you know, they're content to let you run sideways, which most good defenses will do. They just let you run right on out of bounds. But Josh made a nice cut. A little spin move to pick up a few yards. Once again, thanking our sponsors for the game each week. Watson Glass on Geneva Highway, our red zone, and defensive sponsor. Of course, McDonald's for bringing you the games each week. And Citizens Bank for the scoreboard and Hooks Barbecue for our first down sponsorship. Hayes takes it, gets pressure. And he's going to be sacked back at the 15-yard line. Yeah, we tried a little fake and uh, tried to had a little route. And they had a little stunt from the outside that's kind of got a shot. Uh, Quinn had nowhere to go with the football and tried to bounce around and find a crease, but there was none available. And, of course, went down with a big loss. Darlington and MJ going back in the backfield for the Wildcats. Third down from the 15-yard line. They need to get out to the 38 for a first down, 7.49 to go in this first half, leading 20-7 to seven over the Auburn Tigers. Dunlap lines up to the left side. McCray goes in motion, fakes it, hands it off to 
McHale tries to bounce it outside. He's out across the 15. Good containment and out of bounds up near the 18-yard line. Nowhere to go. Yeah, we tried to run a little wing back reverse inside. There was nothing there, and MJ just bounced it outside. Auburn's got uh, that team speed, and McHale couldn't get the edge and just uh, ran it right out of bounds. Weiss back deep for the Tigers. Sheehan punting from his four-yard line as we await the snap. A good snap. Gets a punt off. Going to be fielded by Weiss at his 47. Breaks one tackle across midfield and down inside the Wildcat 45-yard line. Yeah, it's a pretty good punt. We had good coverage, but uh, the return guy did a good job. He did a little spin move and found a crease and picked up a few yards. Great field position for the Auburn Tiger offense. Line of scrimmage, the 43-yard line. Quarterback takes it, looks to the left side, throws downfield, has a man open inside the 35, and he's going to be down to the Wildcat 31-yard line. Yeah, Kenyatta McNeese was in coverage. He wasn't uh, in bad position, but it was a good route and a good throw. Uh, the receiver made a nice catch, and, of course, uh, the pursuit was there as soon as he made that catch to, to drop him in his tracks, but not until he picked up uh, good yardage for the Tigers. Picks up a first down for the Tigers at the Wildcat 31-yard line. Just under seven minutes to go in the first half. Once again, Citizens Bank scoreboard. Wildcats leading 20-7. to seven. Throws it again over on the right side. Throws it behind and a great reception by the receiver, Clegg, and he's going to be down inside 11-yard line. Yeah, our outside linebacker almost got underneath that one, and that may have been one of the throws a little bit behind the receiver, but whatever. He, as you said, Fox, he made a, a nice catch and a, another big game for the Auburn offense. First and 10 for the Tigers at the Wildcat 12-yard line. Quarterback, shotgun formation, hands it off to his back, spins, cuts it down inside the five and down near the four-yard line. Yeah, big hole inside, good hard running, nice, another nice spin move. Uh, we need to try to... Get, Gamble right here if we can. If we have to send everybody, maybe create a fumble or some kind of get some kind of turnover. Quarterback keeps it. Touchdown, Tigers. Touchdown, Tigers. Yeah, that was a little too easy. You know, you got to have somebody. There's somebody assigned to that quarterback. <laughs> uh, if you're. Uh, and uh, it was obvious somebody didn't do their assignment. And, uh, you know, we've got to do a better job of that defense of doing what the coaches tell us to do. Owsley into attempt the point after. Snap, holds down, kick is up. And the kick is good. And with 5.58 to go in this first half, Wildcats 20, Tigers 14, listing Enterprise High School football. Brought to you by McDonald's and the Wildcat Scenic Sports Networks. Yeah, back at Wildcat Stadium as he gets ready to kick off. Short kick fielded by the Wildcats at the 10-yard line. Out across the 15, the 20. Smith on the carry out across the 30 and up near the 34-yard line. Good return for the Wildcats, and they start first and 10. Yeah, Jerry Smith has great speed and uh, found a little crease. Good return. Cats need to uh, answer that score by the Auburn Tigers, and we need to – uh, you know, we need to do something a little odd like we did on the that scoring drive if we have to fake it and throw a pass. I, I tell you what I'd like to see us do. We had that little screen. We, oh, we have a penalty on the play. 
It must have been a hold on the return, backing us up. Um, when we ran that little screen out to Josh McCray, we need to let uh, the uh, Jared fake a little stalk block and then go deep, fake the screen to Josh, and then try to hit Jared on a deep uh, throw. First and 10 from the 25-yard line for the Wildcats. 5.50 to go in the first half, leading 20-14 to 14 here at Wildcats Stadium. Fakes it. Gives it back to Smith. Cuts it around the right side. 30, 35, 40, 50, 40 of the Tigers. 30, 20, 10. Touchdown, Wildcats. Jared Smith, good for 75 yards and a Wildcat touchdown. Yeah, we can run a reverse to Jared Smith. What a great call. Uh, that was all Jared Smith on that score. He ran the kickoff back. Then first play takes it the distance. Great call, great execution. And Coach, as we were talking earlier, you know, he's the fastest on the team. That's exactly right. And and when he gets an open field, he he hits another gear. Swinging gate once again as we get the call from the sideline. Five thirty-five to go in the first half. Wild can't score on a 75-yard run by Jared Smith. As we await the extra point, Quentin Hayes to hold. Matthew Sheehan to kick. Holds down. The kick is going to be no good. And the Wildcats lead 26 to 14. You're listening to Enterprise High School Football brought to you by McDonald's of Enterprise and the Wildcats Scenic Sports Networks. <laughs> Welcome back to Wildcats Stadium. Fox Foaming along with Spotter. Lance Arbor, Wildcat psychic coach Rex Bynum, Ricky Adams, as Sheehan gets ready to kick off to the Tigers. 5.36 to go in his first half. Good high kick. Going to be fielded down at the three-yard line by the Tigers out across the 10, 15, up near the 20, and hit quickly and brought down at the 20, and the Tigers start first and 10. Yeah, that was a good kick by Matthew and a good coverage. As they kick off unit, uh, let's see the spot. going to be right at the 20-yard line, so that's as good as kicking it in the end zone. Well, what a tremendous call. Great execution on the reverse to Jared Smith. The trips come to the near side of the field for the Tigers. First and 10 from their own 19-yard line. 525 to go in this first half, trailing 26 to 14 here at Wildcat Stadium. Caldwell, the quarterback for the Tigers. Rogers lines up to his left side. Single wide out to the far side of the field. As Ray goes to the far side. Caldwell takes it, hands it off to Rogers. Out across 20, 25, 30, 35. Breaks a tackle and out across the 40-yard line. He's going to have a first down up near the 41-yard line. Yeah, they uh they're just their offensive line is just too too strong for our defensive front, and uh, when that running back hops in that hole, boy, he he heads for the end zone. Uh, the referee came over talking to Coach Darlington. Not sure what that was all about. We'll try to find out. Once again, single back in the backfield, hands it off to Rogers again, and he's going to be up across the 46. Yeah, they're running that zone read. You know, got a you know, assignment football we talked about earlier. Somebody's assigned for that running back. Somebody's assigned for that quarterback. And I think we would, it would help us. Uh, is that holding? A flag against the Tigers holding will back them up. But sometimes if we'll take a gamble on that and send those guys, don't let them sit there and read with the offense because that quarterback's riding him in the, in the stomach a pretty good bit of time. Uh, when they execute, but if we're if we're attacking the line of scrimmage and attacking the ball, he won't be able to do that. First and 15 for the Tigers. Fakes it, looks downfield, has a man open and broken up. Great play by the Wildcat defense, and now a flag comes in late, Coach. Yeah, that was a very late call. I was you kind of look for that quick. Uh, I couldn't really tell. It looked to me like a good clean play. And, I, I feel sure just from my coaching days, all the coaches on the other side were hollering, interference, interference. So that official, you know, it, that little delay, he said, maybe it might have been interference, and that flag comes out.
Uh, we'll give the Tigers the first down at the Wildcat 48-yard line. Clock stopped with 4.48 to go in this first half. Once again, Citizens Bank scoreboard. Wildcats leading 26-14 to 14 over the Tigers. Dual wide outs to the near side of the field. Shotgun formation, hands it off to Rogers, cuts it back to the right again, spins, breaks a tackle inside the Wildcat 40. 35 still going and finally brought down about the 34-yard line, but a good hard run by the small running back from Auburn. Yeah, he runs with a purpose. You can tell it. Uh, he, he, knows, he makes that cut, and he's headed downhill to that goal line, and uh, he's, he is hard to bring down, Foss. He gets second, third, and fourth effort. Another first down for the Tigers. Now the 32-yard line of the Wildcats. Caldwell, shotgun formation, high snap, pulls it down, gives it to Rogers, fumble on the play, but I believe he got back on it at the 29 and actually picked up three yards. Yeah, well, that quarterback, he puts that ball in, in his pocket and he's reading the, the defense. He, he has it in there, you know, for a... I say a long time. It's better than just a quick, you know, quick give to the running back. And we have nobody there. We need to have somebody there at that point of exchange. Second down for the Tigers. Hands it off the three off the right side inside the 25. 20 breaks the tackle, gets to the outside. Finally forced out of bounds by Cunningham down near the 10-yard line. Yeah, they're just doing the same old thing, and we don't have an answer to it yet. First and goal. Hutchinson fakes to Hutchinson, throws it. Complete touchdown, Tigers. Well, that was a great throw and catch. We had good coverage, and we hit him by the time he got in the end zone, but he held on to it, and a great drive by the Auburn Tiger offense. Owsley then to attempt the point after for the Tigers. 3.35 to go in the first half. 26-20 to 20 now is the score as we await the extra point. Hold is down, the kick is up, and the kick is good, and with 3.35 to go, Wildcats 26, your Auburn Tigers 21. Wildcats still with the lead, listening to Enterprise High School football brought to you by McDonald's of Enterprise on the Wildcats Scenic Sports Networks. Back at Wildcats Stadium, Fox Swimming, Coach Rex Bynum. Wildcats leading 26-21, 3.35 to go in his first half as the Tigers get ready to kick off to the Cats. Squib kick. And Wildcats recover at the 24-yard line, quickly getting on the ball, and the Wildcats start first and 10. Cats have plenty of time, a couple of timeouts left, so we, of course, our quick strike offense, it may not take but one play. Okay. Boy, it would be nice to put another touchdown on the board here before the half. First and ten for the Cats. Quentin Hayes at quarterback, 20-yard line, fakes it, rolls to the right side, looks downfield, throws it complete. Oh, in and out of the hands of McCray up near the 35-yard line. Josh was wide open on a little drag route. That was one of those cases where he probably tried to start running before he really secured the football, and uh, that's a mistake. Again, uh, big-time players just can't make those in these kind of games. You know, Josh has got to make that play. Second and 10 for the Wildcats. From the 24, clock down to 3.23 to go in this first half. The rain coming down once again. Hayes in shotgun formation from the 20. Fakes it to MJ, keeps it, cuts it upfield, and he's going to be stopped at the 25-yard line. Yeah, what uh, great execution. Auburn had three defenders out on our two guys. 
Uh, they, they had a guy on the quarterback, guy on the pitch, and then they had one that go either way. Third and nine. Coach Cats need to get out to the 34 for first down line. The scrimmage just shy of the 25. Dual wide outs to each side of the field. Hooper and McCray to the near side. Hayes fakes it, throws it over the middle. Has Darlington at the 40, 45, 50. Cuts it back to the left side and down to the Tiger 36-yard line, but picks up a Wildcat first down. Great call by Coach Darlington. Uh, we, we, we didn't hit the blocking back on the go. Uh, he threw it back to White Darlington. We faked a little screen out to Josh McCray, and that brought the linebackers up and hit White uh, behind him for a big play. Nice call, great execution. Hooks Barbecue first down at the 36-yard line of the Tigers. 2.21 to go in his first half. Trips out to the near side of the field as the Wildcats come to the line. Hayes takes it, pitches it to Dunlap, and he's going to be hit quickly and brought down for a one-yard gain at the 35. Yeah, their defense, again, they don't get out of position often. They, they were on that last play, but that one right there, they were in perfect position, and the, the outside linebacker was there to make that play, as you said, Fox, for just a one-yard gain. Second and nine for the Cats from the 35-yard line near hash mark as they move left to right. Trips out to the far side of the field. McCray, Smith, and Hooper throws it to McCray down inside the 30 and finally tackled at the 25, and he'll be close to first down, Coach. Yes, sir, and that's a big-time play there by Josh McCray. That throw was kind of high, and it was, he was in traffic, but he went up with those hands and got it, and uh, let's see, I think the – the official may give it a measurement. Let's... Yes. Mr. Adams says it's not even close. And like Adam said, Coach, not even close. First and 10 for the Wildcats. Just outside the 25, 120 to go in this first half as they come to the line. Dunlap lines up behind Quentin Hayes. Goes to the left side, fakes it, pitches to McCray. McCray is going to try to throw it, throws it, and great catch by Wyatt Darlington as he threw it low end behind him, and he made the catch. And, didn't pick up but about three yards, but a great catch by Wyatt. Yes, it was. Uh, Josh was looking to go deep, I think, to Jared Smith. Uh, he was under a little pressure, I think. That's why he saw Wyatt in the flat and uh, just rushed his throw, but a nice catch by Wyatt Darlington. Second down for the Cats from the 23-yard line. Gets pressure, throws it long. Oh, intended for Smith, and in and out of his hands, right at the goal line. Good defensive play by the Tigers. He was there, too. Yeah, Fox, we let a lot of time run off the clock on that uh, reception by White Darlington. Before that, we've had two timeouts, and it, you know we're down under 30 seconds. Uh, maybe we'll have time right here. Was it third down? We do have uh, – Third and about seven. Yeah, we do. We still have our two timeouts, so maybe uh, we're okay right here on the time. Hooper comes to the right side. McCray goes to the left in the slot. Smith on the far left. Hayes back at the 26. Dunlap behind him. 
fakes it, gets pressure, and he's going to be sacked as he throws it intended for Dunlap, and he did did get it off. Could have got called for grounding, Coach, but uh, just did get it off as he was going down. Well, the uh, referee's right there, and we do have a receiver right there in uh, Josh McCray. Uh, but that's, uh, you know, they, they came with pressure off the corner. That guy was unblocked, and, uh, you know, that's the kind of defensive calls you have to make sometimes. And with a timeout on the field, take a short break. Listening to Enterprise High School Football brought to you by McDonald's on the Wildcats. Scenic Sports Networks. Find them, Wildcats, fourth and seven from the 23-yard line of the Tigers. Yeah. Trips out to the near side of the field. McCray in the slot. Hooper and White. Hayes takes it. Looks downfield. Throws it. Has a man open. McCray inside the five and down to the two-yard line. Yeah, that's another big-time play there by Josh McCray. I, th- I think I figured it out. If, he, if he's wide open, he has time to think about making that catch. But in a crowd, he just goes up and snares it. Time out on the field once again. Enterprise High School leading 26-21. to 21. Scoreboard brought to you by Citizens Bank of Enterprise. Red zone brought to you by Watson Glass on the Geneva Highway. And first downs by Hooks Barbecue on the Bull Weevil Circle. And on away games, transportation brought to you by Sam Boswell Honda, Sam Boswell Bu- Buick, GMC on Bull Weevil Circle. Go by. You can't see Earl Boswell because Earl's been traveling with us the last couple of weeks, but you can see uh, his son, Earl Neil Boswell, on the right side as you walk in the door at Sam Boswell Honda. Tell him we said hello. And check out the great deals that they have there at Sam Boswell Honda, Sam Boswell Buick, GMC. Wildcats come back. Hayes takes it, hands it off to Whitaker, and he's going to be stopped for a loss back at the five-yard line. Yeah, we've got to spike it here. I think we're out of timeout. And the Wildcats do so and stop it with two seconds on the clock, and Sheehan will come in to attempt what seems to be about a 28-yard field goal. Yeah, we've had trouble handling the snap. I hope we get a dry football in on, on this field goal attempt. Yeah, with well, two seconds left in the first half. Sheehan in to attempt a 28-yard field goal. And it looks like uh, the Tigers will take a timeout. The timeout on the field will take a break. Listening to Price High School football brought to you by McDonald's on the Wildcats. Scenic Sports Networks. Back at Wildcat Stadium, she in to attempt a 28-yard field goal. Snaps down, holds down. The kick is up, and it's good as time runs out the first half here at Wildcat Stadium. Wildcats leading 29 to 21 over the Tigers of Auburn. You're listening to Prize High School Football, brought to you by McDonald's and the Wildcats Scenic Sports Networks. Supply is dedicated to offering a vast collection of fixtures, faucets, and accessories for your kitchen and bath. Make your dreams a reality. Step into the area's only Kohler Premier Showroom or see Delta's Brizo Collection for the latest trends in kitchen and bathroom designs. Lewis Smith Supply offers an extensive line of plumbing supplies for contractors or do-it-yourselfers. For more inspiration, come visit one of our showrooms in Dothan or Enterprise. At Enterprise State, we believe college is for everyone who wants a path to something better. And we're Alabama's fastest growing community college because we're redefining what college can be. More affordable, more accessible, more of the programs you need to find a high paying job or fast forward the career you've already started. Whether you come for advanced technical training or a solid academic foundation, you'll leave with the tools it takes to make your future happen faster. Learn more and get moving today. Your number one source for high school sports. You're watching the Scenic Sports Network. We at Scenic Cable would like to thank our YouTube audience for over 10,000 views on our video library. And we want you to help us make it even better and promote more content being added. 
how? By subscribing to our YouTube channel. On the Scenic Cable and Productions YouTube channel, hit the subscribe button. Your subscription will allow us to grow the channel with even more content, like the local videos you love, and even expand beyond them with new and original videos and shows for YouTube. Please subscribe. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of Superintendent Goldfrock, Principal Stan Sauls, and Enterprise High School, we proudly present the Big Blue Marching Band. Tonight, the band will be performing America the Beautiful, Pretty Willie Beaver Boy, Taps, Super Gifts, Battle Hymn of the Republic, and the Enterprise High School Fight Song. The band is under the field direction of drum majors Nigel Thomas and Jessica Powell. Performing their 2020 show, Red, White, and Big Blue, the Enterprise High School Big Blue Marching Band.
dedicated to offering a vast collection of fixtures, faucets, and accessories for your kitchen and bath. Make your dreams a reality. Step into the area's only Kohler Premier Showroom or see Delta's Brizo Collection for the latest trends in kitchen and bathroom designs. Lewis Smith Supply offers an extensive line of plumbing supplies for contractors or do-it-yourselfers. For more inspiration, come visit one of our showrooms in Dothan or Enterprise. At Enterprise State, we believe college is for everyone who wants a path to something better. And we're Alabama's fastest growing community college because we're redefining what college can be. More affordable, more accessible, more of the programs you need to find a high paying job or fast forward the career you've already started. Whether you come for advanced technical training or a solid academic foundation, you'll leave with the tools it takes to make your future happen faster. Learn more and get moving today.
your number one source for high school sports. You're watching the Scenic Sports Network. We at Scenic Cable would like to thank our YouTube audience for over 10,000 views on our video library. And we want you to help us make it even better and promote more content being added. How? By subscribing to our YouTube channel. On the Scenic Cable and Productions YouTube channel, hit the subscribe button. Your subscription will allow us to grow the channel with even more content, like the local videos you love, and even expand beyond them with new and original videos and shows for YouTube. Please subscribe. Swimming, along coach Rex Bynum, Ricky Adams, spotter Lance Yarber as we're getting ready for this second half. The Wildcats leading 29 to 21 over the Tigers as they kick off to the Wildcats. Tigers teeing it up as the Cats will be returning from our left to our right here at Wildcats Stadium. Owsley doing the kicking. Approaches ball, low kick, fielded by the Cats at the 30, up to the 35, and Darlington takes it down up to around the 36-yard line, and the Cats start first and 10. Yeah, that was a good play by White Darlington. It was that squib kick. They're kicking that thing away from Josh McRae, which is a wise move. White did a good job. He handled the football, and he got about five extra yards, and when the uh, cover team got close to him, he just slid down to protect himself and the football. So good start here in the second half for the Wildcat offense. Kel Johnson and Dunlap in the backfield for the Cats. McRae over, goes over to the far side of the field. As the Cats start from their own 36-yard line. Leading 29 to 21. Hayes takes it, hands it off to... Johnson breaks one tackle up to the 38-yard line. Good hard run, but good defense by the Tigers. Yeah, a little space sweep to Mikhail Johnson. They had a little penetration. Uh, I thought they were going to get uh, MJ right at the line of scrimmage, but uh, they made a little cut inside to pick up a couple of yards. Line of scrimmage is the 38-yard line for the Cats near hash mark. 11.27 to go into third. Here at Wildcat Stadium. Smith comes wide to the near side of the field. Dunlap in the backfield. Hayes back at the 34, hands it off to McCray, comes around the right side, follows a block, and he's going to be up to the 41-yard line. You know, we got a little, again, a, a couple of yards, not a whole lot. They're pretty good job defensively. They string you out. Uh, uh, I think the guy actually chased Josh down from behind, from the back side. Uh, picked up uh, maybe three yards. Uh, we got a big third down right here early here in the second half. Line of scrimmage, the 41. Cats need to get out to the 45 for a first down. As the offense comes to the line. You know, the referee's over here. I think he's checking the play clock. I, don't, I noticed it wasn't working. I think he's trying to find out what's going on with the play clock. Yeah. And we found out the play clock is not working. Here at Wildcat Stadium. Third down for the Cats once again from the 41-yard line. So I guess we'll call you play clock from now on because you ain't working either. That's it. (laughs) 
Need to make sure our psychic didn't say anything about the time management, you know, at halftime. Shotgun formation, Wildcat, and we've got a penalty flag at the 45-yard line on the far side of the field. You'll, oh. notice, you'll notice, Fox, it did quit raining. And I said at halftime it would probably quit. And that's going to give the Cats a first down. Up at 46. 10:47 to go into third quarter here at Wildcat Stadium. Cats up 29 to 21 over the Tigers. Hayes in the backfield, rolls to the left side, fakes it. He's going to cut it upfield, and he's going to be up to the line of scrimmage. That's going to be it. Brings up second and about nine. As a good defensive play on containment by the Tigers. Yes, it was. Uh, we, we're having uh, trouble getting anything out of our speed option. I mean, they've got. Uh, guys on the quarterback, guys on the pitch man, and an extra guy. So uh, uh, we might need to do some kind of counter option uh, to kind of slow them, uh, their pursuit down just a little bit. Second and nine for the Cats. Ball at the far hash mark as the Cats are moving left to right. McCray to the far side of the field. Dunlap lines up on the right side. McCray in motion, hands it off to McCray. And he tries to get up to the outside. He's going to be across the 46, cuts it back inside up to the 50, close to the 49-yard line, and it'll bring up third down. Yeah, they have that great team pursued. Uh, Josh was able to pick up a few yards. You know, I think that's why that reverse worked so well uh, in the first half. You know, we had them flowing one way with Josh and then came back with that reverse. Uh, we might need to have a couple of little plays misdirection to kind of slow their uh, reaction down just a little bit. Third down for the Wildcats. They needed to get down across a 44-4 first down line. The scrimmage is midfield. Fakes it to McCray, looks downfield, gets pressure, throws it, has a man open, Dunlap at the 31, and he's going to make the catch. And they're going to give him a good spot inside the 30, or we'll wait. Now they're going to back it up yeah. to the 32. Yeah, that was a great job by Quentin Hayes, too. He uh, he looked quick, and he didn't see anybody open. And he started, looked like he was going to scramble a little bit. And then he saw Keon, and he dumped it out there to him. It was a low throw, but Keon Dunlap went down and made a nice catch, as you said, Fox, for that first down. Hooks Barbecue, Wildcat first down at the 32-yard line of the Tigers. McCray comes to the slot to the near side of the field. Smith to the outside. White to the far side of the field. Dunlap lines up behind Quentin Hayes back at his 36. Fakes it. Fakes it again. Statue of Liberty to McRae. Trying to get it outside. Breaks one tackle. Another. And he's going to be down inside the 25 and finally knocked out of bounds. But he's going to pick up another first down. And he's going to be down about the 21-yard line, Coach. Yes, sir. Josh McCray is running like with a, like a man possessed, on the, particularly on that play. What an awesome job. He just kind of swatted one out of the way and then jumped over the other one. And uh, what I did is uh, that's a big-time play by a big-time player. Another Wildcat hooks barbecue first down at the 21, just outside the Watson Glass red zone with eight minutes to go in the third quarter, and I believe we got a timeout on the field called by the official. No flags, just a discussion.
First and 10 for the Cats from the 21 yard line. Pitch goes to MJ. Breaks one tackle, tries to cut it back inside, inside the 20 and down to the 18. Good hard run by MJ. He's only going to pick up a couple, but it brings up second down. Yeah, those were <laughs> two tough yards, but a great job. He could have been tackled for a loss or, or right at the line of scrimmage. He made uh, he made a couple of guys miss. Uh, you know, that uh, even two yard a two-yard gain can be a plus for you when you're down here inside the 20. Second down for the Cats. Hayes takes it, pitches to MJ, hit quickly and brought down back at the 24, loses about six yards. Uh, the defense was all over that one, Coach. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, about attack, attacking the line of scrimmage. That's exactly what uh, some of the things we need to be doing. They had a corner stunt. Uh, as soon as he saw Mikhail and the ball come his way, he didn't hesitate. He attacked uh, the, the point of uh, where he caught it, and that's why he made that play. Brings up third down for the Cats from the 24-yard line. they got to get down to the 12-yard line for a first down, center of the field. 8.52 to go in the third quarter, leading 29-21. to 21. Dunlap in the backfield with Quentin Hayes. Fakes it, looks downfield, throws it. In and out of the hands as it was a little high intended for Smith. Yeah, we got a couple of receivers a little too close together down here. In fact, all three of them, we need to be a little more spread. Uh, we have we should have had a guy in the end zone being as close as we are. One down about the, between the five and the ten, and the other one about the fifteen. Sheehan comes in to attempt a forty-yard field goal. As we await the snap, snap is there. The hold is down, and the kick is good. We got a penalty flag on the play, and it's good from 40 yards. And with 6:28 to go in the third quarter, Wildcats up 32 to 21 over the Tigers. Listing Enterprise High School football, brought to you by McDonald's of Enterprise on the Wildcats Scenic Sports Network. Back at Wildcat Stadium, Fox Soaring Coach Rex Bynum, Enterprise getting ready to kick off as Sheehan has teed it up following his 40-yard field goal. Good high kick, going to be fielded at the six-yard line by the Tigers out across the 10, 15, 20, and finally brought down up near the 28-yard line. A good return as the Tigers start first and 10. Yeah, I, I, there was a crease there for just a second. I thought he was going to get in it, but we, we closed it up about time he made his move. Uh, good return, but pretty good coverage uh, by the, the Wildcat kickoff unit. Looks like the Cats uh, kept the ball about five and a half minutes that time, Coach. Yeah, we, you know, we wanted to get uh, seven or eight out of it, but we'll certainly take the three. Shotgun formation. Quarterback stands back at his 22, hands it off to his back. Hit quickly and brought down at the 27-yard line and a penalty flag at the 30. Yeah, we hit him right at the line of scrimmage. He tried to bounce it outside, and somebody in the pursuit was there. That was a good job to see what, yes, they usually indicates holding, and that's the call against the Tigers. Quarterback takes the snap, looks downfield, gets pressure, throws it incomplete. <clears throat> Good pressure that time by number 32, Coach. Yes, it was. I, I like I like it. Uh, he tried to hit the safety valve, but the pressure uh, 
That was applied to him by Josh Cunningham was enough to, he made an errant throw. in motion to the right side. Quarterback looks downfield, has a man open across the middle and little high and broken up two by the Cats. Brings up third down intended for Clay. Yeah, he almost went up and made a nice play. The throw was too high. Thankfully for the Cats, it did fall incomplete. Third down for the Tigers from their own 18-yard line. They need to get out to the 38 for a first down. Trips out to the far side of the field. Quarterback looks downfield, throws long, has a man open, and in and out of his hands as I believe it was coach number 32 again intended for Ross, but he got a hand in there and broke it up. Yeah, that's Josh Cunningham, one of our linebackers. That, they, what they did, they took the back and put him out in a slot, and, uh, of course, the linebacker had to go out there and cover him. Uh, and he, uh, the receiver had it, but he batted it away. That's two big plays there by Josh Cunningham. Yeah, and the punter for Auburn backed up to his own four-yard line. 5.49 to go in the third quarter. Wildcats up 32-21. Brought to you by Citizens Bank. High snap that pulls it down. Good high punt. Going to be fielded. Well, the Cats get away from it. It's going to take a Auburn bounce down to the 31. Yeah, Jalen Cunningham, I think he signaled for a fair catch, but uh, he felt a little uncomfortable trying to make the catch. And anytime you know, you got a return guy like that, just get out of the way, just like he did, even though it did take a, an Auburn Tiger bounce, it is our football. First and 10 for the Cats. Once again, Coach, we'd love to see them use about five and a half minutes at least and wind this third quarter up. Starting from their own 31-yard line near hash mark. Dunlap in the backfield with Hayes. McCray in motion, fakes it to McCray, gets pressure, and he's going to be sacked back at the 24. Yeah, they're coming off the edge. They're starting to put a little pressure on us to slow down uh, uh, some of our uh, trick plays, and uh, we be the guy to you know get it off a little quicker, or somebody's got to account for that guy. Second down from the 25-yard line. Just over five minutes to go in the third quarter. Wildcats with the ball near hash mark, moving left to right. Trips out to the far side of the field. Cray, Smith, and White fakes it. Quentin's going to keep it out across the 30 and up near the 35-yard line. It'll bring up third and about six. Yeah, that was a nice play on that uh, second and long. Picked up some man up, enough yards to make a manageable third down right here. Auburn, again, they're really crowding the line of scrimmage. Their safeties are playing up very tight. Uh, and, uh, you know, we need to take advantage of that again. We've done it a couple of times you know, earlier in the ball game. We need to we need to do it again. Big third down play for the Wildcat offense from the 35. They need to get across a 41-4 first down. 4-14 to go in the third quarter. Wide outs to each side of the field. McCray goes in motion, hands it off to McCray, and he slips down across the 36. Coach brings up fourth down. Yeah, a little running room. I don't know if he would have got the first down. It would have been interesting to see. You know, it's, it's just one of those kind of things. You, probably closer to the sideline, which hasn't been used very much. It is a little more slippery than where the you know, field's kind of been mashed down a little bit. Matthew Sheehan ends a punt from the 21-yard line. Receiver back for Auburn at his own 33 as we await the snap. Good snap. They rush the punt, get it off. 
And it'll take a Wildcat bounce inside the 30 and be down to about the 27-yard line. Yeah, not the greatest of punts, but he did get it off. It wasn't blocked. <laughs> Didn't go out of bounds. So, uh, now those are all win situations for us. And the Tigers will be starting first and 10 from their own 27 with 3.22 to go in this third quarter. Trailing the Wildcats. Wildcats up 32 to 21 over the Tigers here at Wildcats Stadium. Near hash mark as they move right to left. Caldwell, the quarterback for the Tigers, hands it off around the right side, running room, and he's going to be out across the 30, 35, and up near the 36 is Jonathan Rogers. Yeah, I wonder why they had gotten away from their running attack on their previous possession. I know they had the holding penalty, but uh, when you're averaging about 10 yards a play, uh, that, that shouldn't really matter, and they got about nine on that play. Second and about two. Hands it off to Rodgers off the left side, and he's going to be stopped right at the line of scrimmage, but uh, second effort, I believe he's going to have enough for a first down. It's going to be close. That was a much better job defensively on this, on our defensive right side. They're trying to make a decision. They're looking at it, but... Uh, And he'll signal first down at the 37-yard line. 2.38 to go in the third quarter. Triples out to the far side of the field. Caldwell shotgun formation, fakes it, throws it out in the flats, intended for number 13, incomplete. We did have a little pressure that time coming from the outside. I think that's forcing the quarterback to rush his throw just a little bit. He's telling the center the snout was off to his side, too. That probably disrupted the timing of that play. Rodgers in the backfield, lines up to the left side of Caldwell. The quarterback takes it, throws it, and incomplete. Again, we had a pressure applied. I think I, that's been the key here. With a quarterback's tough for anybody to throw when he got somebody in your face there. I believe that was number 34, Kanye Graham, on, uh, on the uh, stun on that particular play. Trips out to the far side of the field for the Tigers. Rodgers lines up on the right side of Caldwell. Looks to the sideline. Fakes it, looks to the right side, rolls to the right side, gets some pressure, throws it out in the flats, incomplete, brings up fourth down. Yeah, we had good coverage down the field. The quarterback sprinted out to his right. I think he had the receiver, but again, the throw was way too high. And there uh, must be a flag on the play. I see it across the way. Uh, Going to be a sideline warning, Coach. And the punting team will come in for the Tigers. Number 15 doing the punting, Matthew Rhodes, for the Tigers tonight. Cunningham and Leonard back deep with the Wildcats, standing back at the 35-yard line to receive as we await the snap with just over two minutes to go in this third quarter. Good snap. Punter's going to get the punt off. Good high punt. And they're going to let it go. Bounce inside the 15-yard line and take a Auburn bounce and down to about the 8-yard line. And the Cats start deep back at the 8-yard line. Yeah, that was the weapon on that punt. He boomed that one. Uh, I think it kind of surprised us it went so far. But, the, you know, the, the bad news, we do have it down there on, on 8. But the good news is it, it is our football.
Dunlap in the backfield. Also McCray, Smith to the wide side of the field. Hayes takes the snap, hands it to McCray off the right, out across the 10 to 15, and out of bounds up near the 20-yard line and a penalty flag back at the 17. Yeah, that usually indicates one of your receivers was holding. We'll see the call. Fox, I don't really say a whole enough about our offensive line, but uh, Carson Cole, Cole Killingsworth, Nick Cox, Harrison Gamble, Hayden Self, and, uh, you know, those guys do a good job. Anytime you have a – you're putting points on the board. Uh, you've got to have a good offensive line. Another penalty going against the Wildcats tonight. And that's going to back them up to the seven-yard line. Nullifying that big gain by McCray. It'll be first and about ten again with 156 to go in this third quarter. Smith comes to the right side of the field. McCray comes in the slot. Hooper and MJ on the far side, fakes it, gets pressure, and throws it low intended for Dunlap, but uh, Coach about two yards too short. Yeah, well, I, the pressure, you see him down in the end zone, that guy came off the edge again. Uh, you know, that's that's made a big difference for both teams. Uh, their defensive guys putting pressure on the quarterback. And with a timeout on the field, Enterprise leading 32-21, to 21, listening Enterprise High School football brought to you by McDonald's on the Wildcat Scenic Sports Network. 21 here with 150 going to third quarter. Second and 10 from the Cats from the 8-yard line as they come to the line. Dunlap in the backfield with Quentin Hayes. Takes a snap, fakes it, looks downfield, gets pressure, and he's going to be sacked back inside the three-yard line. They have been going into the game with Darlington in the backfield. Third down for the Cats. They've got to get out to the 18 for a first down. Backed up at the three-yard line. McCray's going to take it out across the five, and that's going to be all. Yeah, I think we were just trying to get enough yards to give our punter uh, enough room to get uh, have a regular punt formation. Both teams applying the pressure defensively slowed down the offenses here in the second half. Cats going to let the first quarter come to, or correction, the third quarter come to an end. Leading 32. 221 over the Tigers as we take a break. You're listening to Enterprise High School Football brought to you by McDonald's of Enterprise on the Wildcat Scenic Sports Network. Supply is dedicated to offering a vast collection of fixtures, faucets, and accessories for your kitchen and bath. Make your dreams a reality. Step into the area's only Kohler Premier Showroom or see Delta's Brizo Collection for the latest trends in kitchen and bathroom designs. Lewis Smith Supply offers an extensive line of plumbing supplies for contractors or do-it-yourselfers. For more inspiration, come visit one of our showrooms in Dothan or Enterprise. At Enterprise State, we believe college is for everyone who wants a path to something better. And we're Alabama's fastest growing community college because we're redefining what college can be. More affordable, more accessible, more of the programs you need to find a high paying job or fast forward the career you've already started. Whether you come for advanced technical training or a solid academic foundation, you'll leave with the tools it takes to make your future happen faster. Learn more and get moving today.
your number one source for high school sports. You're watching the Scenic Sports Network. We at Scenic Cable would like to thank our YouTube audience for over 10,000 views on our video library. And we want you to help us make it even better and promote more content being added. How? By subscribing to our YouTube channel. On the Scenic Cable and Productions YouTube channel, hit the subscribe button. Your subscription will allow us to grow the channel with even more content, like the local videos you love, and even expand beyond them with new and original videos and shows for YouTube. Back at Wildcat Stadium, Fox Swimming, along with Coach Rex Bynum as we start the fourth quarter here. Wildcats leading 32-21 to 21 over the Tigers, but the Cats having to punt from deep and within their end zone. As Sheehan gets ready from about four yards from the back line. Good snap. Gets a punt off. Good high punt. Going to be, well, it didn't look much like a fair catch, Coach, but I guess he called it fair catch and got it at the 48-yard line. Kind of a quick one, you know. You're supposed to get that arm up and wave it a little bit, but that was a quick one. What a great time for a big punt uh, from Matthew Sheehan. I, I was a little concerned. You know, he's a little slow sometimes getting them off. And, uh, you know, we got our blockers right there. I just happened to notice two of their guys ran right by the, our three blockers and nobody laid a hand on them. Um, that didn't look too good, but uh, uh, he was able to boom that one. First and 10 for the Tigers from their own 48 with 11.51 to go in the ball game. Hands it off to Rodgers off the right side. Breaks a tackle, 40, 35, and down to the Wildcat 32-yard line. Yeah, that's their bread and butter right there. You think that they're going to go back to it to get away from trying to throw that football. And we've got to come up with a way to stop that play. First and 10 for the Tigers at the Wildcat 32-yard line. Rodgers again off the right side, down inside the 30 and down to the 28. Yeah, we did a better job that time. We need to try again uh, to try to get somebody in the backfield when they're when that quarterback's in that mesh with the running back. We need to have somebody in his face creating some havoc. Second and seven from the Cats 28. Again, hands it to Rodgers right up the middle. Hit quickly, but Coach, uh, he's kind of pushing us back when he hits us, and he's down to the 25. Well, we're, we're again, uh, you know, when he hits us, we're it's two yards across the line of scrimmage. We need to be stepping up on their side of the line of scrimmage. Third and two, hands it off to Rodgers off the left side. Hit quickly, but he's brought down down near the first down marker. And we've got a player down with timeout on the field. You're listening to Enterprise High School Football. Brought to you by McDonald's of Enterprise on the Wildcat Scenic Sports Network. Back at Wildcat Stadium, following the measurement, going to give the Tigers a first down. At the Wildcat 22-yard line. Looks long, throws to the end zone, has a man open, and overthrows him. Yeah, we had good coverage down the field, quarterback. <laughs> he just kind of airmailed that one. Fox, they may hit a big uh, pass for a touchdown on us, but uh, uh, it seems to me the way they run that football, they're doing us a favor when they drop back to throw it. Second and 10, hands it off to Rodgers off the left side, and he runs down inside the 20, and he's going to pick up probably seven yards, Coach. Yeah, I don't think they were reading that one. That was just a straight give, which is a little bit tougher uh, to defend uh, there because uh, there's no hesitation when he gets that handoff. Again, a big push off that left side by that big Auburn offensive line.
Shotgun formation. Line of scrimmage, the 17-yard line. Quarterback stands back at the 22, drops back, looks down, has a man in the end zone, and touchdown if he holds on to it, and he does. Good catch as he went up and got it, number 11. Yeah, that was, I think the quarterback just kind of threw that one up. I thought we were in position to make a play, but the receiver just, he just went up and out-rebounded us to get that uh, ball for the touchdown. With 9.26 to go in the fourth quarter, Tigers score on a pass. Ross, and we await the extra point as they're going to go for two. Cornwell takes it, hands it off to Rodgers, and he's going to be tackled back at the eight-yard line by the Wildcats. Two-point conversion, no good. Yeah, they tried a little uh, uh, reverse. Act. The quarterback was going uh, to the left. I guess it's a kind of a draw back to the right side, but the CAD defense made a good play on that. Uh, nice job. Yeah, and we're dying 25 to go in this ball game. Enterprise up 32 to 27. You're listening to Enterprise High School Football brought to you by McDonald's on the Wildcat Scenic Sports Networks. Welcome back to Wildcats Stadium. Fox Lovin' Coach Rex Bynum. Wildcats up 32-27 with 9-26. Going to ball game. Owsley kicking off for the Tigers. Dunlap and McCray back deep for the Wildcats. Standing inside the five-yard line. As the Wildcats will be returning from our right to our left. Owsley approaches the ball, a good high kick, going to be fielded at the seven. Makes one miss, and out to the 20-yard line, Cats start first and ten. Yeah, that was a good kick. It kind of bounced down, about, as you said, about the seven-yard line. Time Keon Dunlap got it and tried to get up field. They were, their coverage was there right at the 20-yard line, so a good job by the kickoff unit for the Auburn Tigers. Wildcats first and 10 following the spot. Going to be starting a near hash mark, moving right to left from the 20-yard line. Nine nineteen to go in this ball game. McCray takes it off the left side, follows Darlington out across the 25 and up here the 26-yard line. Yeah, we had a good surge off that left side at we were kind of in that our single wing look, which is our power set. And uh, I'm sure uh, Coach Darlington would love to keep that ball on the ground, eat some clock, uh, clock up as much as we can and put some points on the board on this drive. MJ McCray. Smith goes wide to the far side of the field. Whitaker to the right side and Darlington. Wildcat formation, MJ takes it off the right side, follows McCray, and he's out across the 30, up near the 31. I think he got the first down. You watch Auburn's defense, though. They're already starting to crowd the line of scrimmage. They're all bunching up inside. We need to be sure when we run it inside, we hang on to that football. Don't let them take it away from us. Hooks Barbecue Wildcat first down at the 31 yard line. MJ takes it off the left side, gets hit quickly. Penalty flag comes out as he got a face mask, coach, so we're going to get a break on that one. Yeah, I think we did. They had penetration, and uh, again, uh, they do a good job of making uh, you guys run sideways across the field toward the sideline. There's nowhere to go. And, uh, Let's see, what, there's the call. Yeah, we did get a break on that. Yeah. 
first and 10 for the Cats at the 44-yard line near hash mark. Eight minutes to go in the ball game. Again, McRae's going to take it out across the 45. Midfield breaks a tackle and down to the 46-yard line of the Tigers. What a nice cut by Josh McRae. Good job of blocking. I tell you what, that offensive line, Wyatt Darlington uh, in the backfield blocking, uh, doing a good job. And Josh made a nice cut, and uh, I guarantee you know, he's a big load. He's a big young and uh, going to be, looks like maybe just a foot short of first down. And with a timeout on the field, 7.38 to go in the ball game. Enterprise up 32-27 to 27 over the Tigers. Scoreboard brought to you by Citizens Bank of Enterprise. You're listening to Enterprise High School Football, sponsored by McDonald's on the Wildcat Scenic Sports Networks. First and 10 for the Cats at the 46-yard line of the Tigers. 7.36 to go in this ball game. Cats moving right to left. McCray, MJ in the backfield, goes to MJ, follows him up the middle, and he's going to be stopped at the line of scrimmage. Yeah, a late flag came out uh, from the referee. That could indicate a number of things, possibly holding. They had penetration. One of their guys shot the gap. Yeah, it's going to be holding against the Cats. It was probably the – I'm not. I'm just guessing. I know from an uh, old offensive coach, when a defensive lineman tries to shoot that gap, a guy reaches out to slow him down a little bit, and that's probably why they got him. Wildcats first and 20 from their own 44-yard line now. 7-7 seen to go in the ball game near hash mark. Hayes in the backfield, goes off the right side, follows the block. He's going to be hit quickly and drop for a loss back at the 41. Yeah, they're just going to, you can tell, they're just crowding the line of scrimmage. They're all up there within five yards. They had a safety back about seven. Uh, they're just there and just throw the footballs, what they're doing. Clock continues to run. Six and a half minutes to go in the ball game. Wildcats up 32 to 27. Second and 22 from their own 41 yard line. Wide outs to each side of the field. Quentin takes the snap, fakes it, looks downfield, gets pressure, throws it incomplete. Yeah, we faked it out to. Uh... Uh, Aiden White, I think, on a little screen, tried to hit Josh down the seam. Uh, Quentin Hayes was under some pressure, and he just kind of basically uh, flipped that one where either Josh got it or nobody did. And with timeout on the field, six minutes to go in this ball game. Enterprise up 32-27. to We're seeing Enterprise High School football. Brought to you by McDonald's of Enterprise on the Wildcat. Scenic Sports Networks. Back at Wildcat Stadium, Fox Flowing, Coach Rex Bynum. Six minutes to go in the ball game. Cats up 32-27, third and about 22 as the Cats need to get down inside the 37-yard line for a first down. They're back at their own 42. Shotgun formation. Hayes takes it, looks downfield, throws it long for McCray and incomplete. Yeah, we got against the chain there with that hold and uh... Uh, and the pressure applied by the Auburn Tiger offense. You know, that's what happens sometimes when you're trying to just run the clock out and eat up time. They keep putting that pressure on you, and then they get you in a situation. And then when you make a mistake, they take advantage of it. Weiss back deep to return for the Tigers. Sheehan back at his own 28-yard line for the snap. Good snap. Gets a high putt off. Going to be fair caught at the 30-yard line, and penalty flag comes in for Coach. They didn't give him any room. Yeah. To me, uh, I can kind of see that in a way, but he did he did catch the football, uh, so, so I wouldn't have thrown my flag uh, if I would have been that official. Now, if he drops a ball or something, 
then that flag would have come out. You know, that's just me. Obviously, they didn't interfere with him because he caught it. Yeah, but there's no there's no rule about yardage. I don't think, that, you know. And that'll move the ball up to the 44-yard line for the Tigers. 5.55 to go in the ball game. Hands off to Rodgers off the left side. Breaks a tackle across midfield and out of bounds on the far side of the field. Yeah, now it'll be up to the Cat defense. See if we can slow down this Auburn Tiger running attack. And four at the Wildcat 49 yard line. Tigers with the ball. Quarterback uh, tries to pull it out and they stop him at the line of scrimmage. Great defensive play by the Cats. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about right there. Right when they was trying to hand it off, we had guys in his face and swarmed him under. That's the kind of play we've got to have. To slow down. <laughs> that's on read. Trips out to the near side of the field. Quarterback stands back at the 45, looks to the left side, gets pressure, throws it across the middle, and complete fourth down. Yeah, it makes a difference when you got pressure in your face. Every time we put pressure on that quarterback, he's made us an errant throw. They had the screen set up if they make the catch, but uh, they didn't. They'll see what the coach from Auburn decides to do. Clock stops with 5.09 to go into the ball game. Fourth down, the Tigers will go for it. Fourth and four. A timeout call by the Tigers. Timeout on the field. Enterprise Wildcats up 32 27, 509 to go in the ball game. You're listening to Enterprise High School football brought to you by McDonald's of Enterprise of the Wildcats Scenic Sports Networks. Back at Wildcat Stadium, Fox swimming along with Coach Rex Bynum, Lance Charmer, Ricky Adams, 5.09 to go. The Tigers will go fourth and four. Quarterback takes it, fakes it, looks downfield, throws it, has a man open seven. He's got a first down and more at the Wildcat 37-yard line. Yeah, great execution. That was a clear end route. They sent the inside guy on a kind of a corner route, and then the outside receiver came up underneath him on a little slant, and the quarterback had plenty of time to get the ball to him for the first down. First and 10 for the Tigers. Handoff goes to Rodgers off the right side, inside the Wildcat, 30 down to the 32. Need to have some uh, play in the backfield. We need to get some penetration on our from our defensive front. Second down, trips out to the far side of the field. Caldwell stands back at the 37. Again, hands it off to the back. 30, 25, 20, and inside the Wildcat 15-yard line. We had somebody come off one side, but he ran. He ran the other side. Nobody was there. First and 10 at the Wildcat 15-yard line, 4-12 to go in the game. Cats up 32-27. Tigers moving the ball, man in motion. Quarterback shotgun formation from the 20. 
Hands it off to Rogers, breaks it off the right side and down to the Wildcat 10. Everything seems to be in Auburn's favor right now, even though they are behind on the score. They've got, uh, they can get a first down, looks like about the five, inside the five. So a lot of opportunities here to score a touchdown for the Tigers. Rogers lines up to the right side, hands it off again down inside the Wildcat 10 to the Wildcat 8. Finally tackled by McNeese. and two. Cornwell takes the snap, fakes it, gets pressure, and he's going to be sacked back at the 20-yard line. Great defensive play that time by the Cats. Number 97, Coach. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Just send the house. You know, if they get it all. Buckner in the backfield along with uh, number 34 for the Cats, Graham. Yeah, that's, uh, you know, it's a gamble when you do that, but that's you know, I think that's not where we're going to slow them down. You just send them through every gap, and if they get it off, they get it off. But we made a big play there. Big four-town play for the Wildcat defense, and we've got timeout on the field called by the Wildcats. 2.32 to go in the game. Wildcats up 32-27, but Auburn with the ball at the Wildcats 16-yard line. You're listening to Enterprise High School Football, brought to you by McDonald's of Enterprise on the Wildcats Scenic Sports Networks. Back at Wildcat Stadium, Fox Swimming, Coach Rex Bynum, Lance Jarber, Ricky Adams, 222 to go in the ball game. Cats up 32 to 7, 27, fourth and 11. As the Tigers come to the line, trips out to the far side of the field. Rogers lines up to the left side of Caldwell. Caldwell takes it, rolls to the left side, penalty flag on the play. Throws to the end zone, and the play has stopped, and we'll see what the call is. Yeah, they were moving across the way before. The, I don't think the quarterback ever saw them when they snapped the football. That's why they went ahead and stopped the play with a dead ball. down for the Tigers. Quarterback looks to the end zone, throws long, has a man open and incomplete out of the back of the end zone and the Cats take over first and 10 with 2.08 to go in this ball game. What a great call. We had push on the quarterback. We were right in his face and we had good coverage in the back of the end zone and that throw was too long. And what a great job defensively. Big plays on the Wildcats. First and 10 for the Cats, 2.08 to go in this ball game, leading 32 to seven. Wildcat formation, McCray with it off the left side. And he's gonna be out across the 20 and up near the 24 yard line. Yeah, we had a good push, uh, but Josh uh, needs to stay in bounds. <laughs> we don't need to run out of bounds right now. Fall down to keep that clock running. If you're behind, you run out of bounds, but when you're ahead like that, you just I thought out. I heard a psychic sound over there. They're, they're letting the clock run, but I saw the official on this sideline stop it, so I don't know why they're starting it again.
Yeah, their coach is probably saying something. He's probably saying, hey, they stopped the clock, and then you're starting it. Second down and six for the Cats from the 24. McCray takes it off the right side, cuts it out across the 30 and up here the 32, and he's going to have a first down. Good surge right up the middle. Cat offensive line doing a great job, not allowing any penetration. That's the key. I'm not sure exactly if they're blocking. I'm sure it's um, probably a down block, get angles, and to keep that penetration from happening. But uh, good blocking, good hard running by Josh McCray. First and 10 for the Cats. Hooks barbecue at the 33-yard line. Wildcat formation. McCray's going to take it, and he's going to be stopped about the 34. Timeout called by the Tigers to stop the clock with 128 to go in the ball game. Yeah, they're really crowding it and shooting <laughs> it uh, in our, into our backfield. We just got to hang on to the football. You know, the good – if we can ever break the line of scrimmage, uh, we'll be off to the races. Darlington in, also Dunlap. MJ in as we come to the line. Wildcat formation. And we've got a penalty flag on the play, and it's going to go against the Tigers. Yeah, we went on a little long count right there, and then they uh, jumped into the neutral zone. I do it again. Maybe, maybe go on three. Might get them again. Wildcats come to the line, moving from our right to our right to our left at the 39-yard line. Dunlap lines up in the Wildcat. Snap goes to MJ. Follows Dunlap across the 40, 45, 50, 40, 35, 30, 25, 15, 10. Touchdown, Wildcats! MJ on the run all the way. That's what I was talking about when they crowd the line of scrimmage and you can break into the secondary. It's just the foot race. And I put MJ up against anybody right now. He's got tremendous speed. What a big play for the Wildcats. One seventeen to go in the ball game. Wildcats scoring on a long run by Mikel Johnson. Good for 61 yards plus, and we've got a timeout called by the Wildcats. And with timeout on the field, Enterprise leads 38 to 27 with about a minute 17 to go in the ball game. Listening Enterprise High School football brought to you by McDonald's and the Wildcat Scenic Sports Networks. Back at Wildcats Stadium, Wildcats going for two. And McCray's going to take it. No good. Stopped at the four-yard line. Once again, after the two-point conversion failed, McCray stopped short of the goal line. Enterprise leading 38 to 27 with a minute 17 to go in this ball game as they get ready to kick off to the Tigers. And Coach, uh, we'd like to see this one go in the end zone, I believe. Yeah, I'm not so sure why we were going for two there. That's what I'm having a little trouble figuring. I mean, 
if we if we make the extra points, that puts us up 12. And now you, you've got a, a touchdown, a, a two-point, a field goal ties it up. Uh, they would have had to have, uh, you know, two touchdowns if we just put one point on the board. So I'm not so, so sure why we're going for two. Wildcats with the lead, 38 to 27. And Sheehan gets ready to kick off to the Tigers. Sheehan approaches the ball. Low squib kick on the ground, taken by the Tigers at the 17, across the 20, 25, 30, up near the 35. Still going and gets up to the 38-yard line. Good return by the Auburn return man. I think it was Massey on that return. I think the Tigers do have one timeout. Uh, this will be an interesting call defensively. You know, you want to, you don't want to give up a big play, but you don't want to give them so much of a cushion that it's easy for them to get down the field. So we'll see what Coach Kennedy decides to do. Jonathan Rogers lines up to the left side of Caldwell, takes a snap, looks downfield, throws long, and incomplete. Out of bounds, I believe. And incomplete. Uh, great catch by Cunningham, but about two yards out of bounds. Yeah, he's played a great ball game tonight. Uh, I like what we did. We rushed our three down linemen, but we sent one of our linebackers on an outside stump. Uh, Try to put a little pressure on the quarterback. I like that uh, defensive call there by Coach Kennedy. Second and 10. Cornwell looks downfield again, gets pressure, throws it out, completed at 35, 40, 45, midfield and brought down up at midfield. Enough for a first down, but the clock continues to run. It's going to stop as they move the chains with 53 seconds to go. Yeah, we had a guy off the edge that had a chance to make a play, and the quarterback moved a foot, and he missed him. Yeah, with timeout on the field, Wildcats leading 38-27. to 27. 53 seconds to go in the ball game. You're listening to Enterprise High School Football, brought to you by McDonald's of Enterprise on the Wildcats Scenic Sports Networks. Back at Wildcat Stadium. 53 seconds to go. Wide outs to each side of the field. Tigers already lined up. Caldwell stands back at his 44-yard line to take the snap. Takes the snap. Fakes it to Rogers. Looks downfield. Gets pressure. Throws it long. Intercepted by the Wildcats at the 25-yard line. And he's going to return it, number 12, down to the 22. We've got a penalty flag on the play. Fitzpatrick on the interception, Coach. Yeah, the pressure was the key. I think we had a block in the back across the way. I think I saw that. I believe that's going to be the call. Uh, but uh, yeah, the pressure on the quarterback was the key for that interception. And we await for the official. Going to be blocking the back, I believe, against the Cats on the return. And the Cats will take the ball first and 10 following the spot. Yeah, there's nothing like the victory formation. I think they have one timeout. They can stop at one time. But uh, and coach, did you see the call? We were thinking maybe helmet to helmet somewhere. No, I, it looked to me. I saw the block in the back across the way. Okay. That's what I saw on the return. And the Wildcats will take it first and ten at the twenty. First and ten at the twenty yard line. 36 seconds to go. Going to take a knee. Quentin Hayes down to an empty 16. And that should uh, just about do it. Yeah, they're not going to use that final timeout. The coach has conceded. And what a big win for the Enterprise Wildcats.
Enterprise has just defeated the undefeated Auburn Tigers here at home at Wildcat Stadium, 38 to 27. Your final score. Big victory for the Cats as they get ready to head down to Navarre Beach next week before going to Theodore for the first round of the playoffs. We'll be back in two minutes to wrap it up here at Wildcat Stadium. You've been listening to Enterprise High School Football, brought to you by McDonald's of Enterprise and the Wildcat Scenic Sports Networks. Supply is dedicated to offering a vast collection of fixtures, faucets, and accessories for your kitchen and bath. Make your dreams a reality. Step into the area's only Kohler Premier Showroom or see Delta's Brizo Collection for the latest trends in kitchen and bathroom designs. Lewis Smith Supply offers an extensive line of plumbing supplies for contractors or do-it-yourselfers. For more inspiration, come visit one of our showrooms in Dothan or Enterprise. At Enterprise State, we believe college is for everyone who wants a path to something better. And we're Alabama's fastest growing community college because we're redefining what college can be. More affordable, more accessible, more of the programs you need to find a high paying job or fast forward the career you've already started. Whether you come for advanced technical training or a solid academic foundation, you'll leave with the tools it takes to make your future happen faster. Learn more and get moving today. Your number one source for high school sports. You're watching the Scenic Sports Network. We at Scenic Cable would like to thank our YouTube audience for over 10,000 views on our video library. And we want you to help us make it even better and promote more content being added. How? By subscribing to our YouTube channel. On the Scenic Cable and Productions YouTube channel, hit the subscribe button. Your subscription will allow us to grow the channel with even more content, like the local videos you love, and even expand beyond them with new and original videos and shows for YouTube.